Today I'm going to talk about polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. It's one of the most misunderstood diagnoses, and we're going to take the time to go through it in detail today. First of all, we think about the diagnostic criteria. So really, who really has PCOS? We typically use what we call the Rotterdam criteria. It was developed in 2003 and basically requires a woman to have at least two out of three possible criteria in order to get the diagnosis. The first thing is the regularity of the menstrual cycle. Is your cycle coming outside of a typical 21 to 35 day window? So usually women with PCOS will have either irregular cycles or actually won't have a period at all on their own. That's what we call anovulation or oligoovulation, meaning that the ovulation is not happening regularly and so the menstrual cycle is coming in an irregular cycle. The second criteria is actually how the ovaries look on ultrasound. So when we do a vaginal ultrasound, we're able to look at the ovaries and look for a typical appearance. The polycystic ovary will actually not have cysts necessarily. That's a common misconception, one that I like to debunk. The main thing we're looking for is either that the ovaries are large, so there's a larger ovarian volume, or the number of follicles, which are the little fluid-filled sacs that contain the eggs, is higher than the average age-based number. The third criteria is some evidence, whether it's symptoms you might be experiencing or blood work that indicates a higher than average level of the androgens. These are what we typically think of as the quote unquote male hormones like testosterone, but we all have them. So we're basically looking to see, okay, are you experiencing symptoms like extra facial or body hair or severe acne, or maybe even male pattern baldness or hair loss that suggests that those androgen levels are high? And or if we test them, do they come back higher than the average female levels? So those are the three diagnostic criteria. If you have at least two of those, you meet the criteria and you have the diagnosis of PCOS.